Okay, so we said setup wise was really good. Sand the golf ball nicely. Again, ball position and shaft angle and everything else was good. Nothing to really worry about there. And again, backswing. Now, now you've lost that sort of two, two and a half stone you said you've lost. You're making a much fuller backswing. So you're creating more power, okay? You said about a bit of a sway. I wouldn't really say there was much of a sway there. I think where your head starts, okay? And where it's it not really swayed back that much. Mm -hmm. It's sort of maintained pretty much over there. It wobbled back a little bit. But I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's an issue where you're sort of swaying way back here. As we have in the past sometimes. But yeah. certainly today, you know, I think that's, that's fine to me. So, yeah. again, top of the back. So in both these positions, very, very good. The issue now we were discussing with the first shot as you came through... Because in the past, when the weight was there around the sort of belly, you, didn't, you couldn't twist as quickly, and your head was staying down. As you came to the golf ball, everything sort of stopped. The head was still looking down there, so your eyes still looking yeah, down here, yeah. and very narrow. Mm. And that narrow swing created more of a sort of bottom strike of the club, thin strikes, losing distance. So to compensate, you start getting a bit lower. The more lower you get in the swing, the more head down you try and create, the less your arms can swing through. It's just a vicious circle, isn't it? So it gets round and round, and you start losing distance with each and every time you hit a driver. Yeah. Compare that now to more sort of a ro rotation and twist. So again, great lower half movement there, that lower half really sort of shifting through. And if we look at so there's your post there, compared to this one here. Now again, good strike as we can see. Good difference in those two. Yeah, the head's still down though. Yeah, a little bit there. That's not going to go straight away, but the yeah. body's twisting better. Look at the same position with the club. Oh, yeah, the How much shoulders. your chest yeah, has yeah. turned through, your shoulders have turned through. Yeah. We go about a little bit there. How much the hips are starting to turn through, where your belt buckle is a bit further round to the side. Yeah. And again, for me, visually, that is the key thing compared yeah. to that there. Yeah. That's a wider, bigger arc, more extensive through the golf yeah. ball as you then twist through. We can finish it up on the left-hand side, nice and balanced. Again, same sort of thing. You see how your arms are just folding here. They're just sort of yeah, collapsed. It yeah. doesn't really go around that far. Whereas this one here now, there's a bit of your arm. It's still wide there, you see, and a yeah. good full width there. Yeah. And then we just let the arms then relax on yeah. the shoulders as we would do anyway. But a much wider mm. swing. Mm. And that, for me, is the key thing. Okay, it's keeping that width post-impact. Yeah. So the swing here sort of looks nice and wide. The club disappearing. Your hands away from your body and your chest there. Yeah. You can... To this, so your arms sort of from here you go straight, straight up in the air towards your left shoulder all very sort of yeah. close and just tucked up and very narrow yeah yeah which will affect your strike Huge difference there. yeah we've got a massive difference yeah. yeah um but for me that'll affect the strike obviously we're losing yeah. distance we're losing speed and width is going to create power or yeah. release the power yeah. so all those things added together loss of distance with the speed the club's mm. making and the contact you're losing 15 20 yards of distance so if we can mm. get a bit better more solid contact with a greater width in the swing yeah. We'll be getting back to the yard as you think you should be, which I think I agree with you should be about sort of 200 yards over that driver with a bit of fairway run. Yeah. Makes it going a bit easier when you're a bit further on the fairway, doesn't it? So, makes sense? Yeah.